The roles and mandate of the various committees of the Assembly are fundamental in enabling Iala realize its desire to see the region succeed and become a powerhouse not only in business but in various spheres including education, tourism, health and the socio-economic and political realm. There have been gains that have been registered this time round because the earlier community was more or less uh, leader-led. It was, was so much uh, driven by, by the heads of state, so it was a summit issue. This time round, there has been a paradigm shift and different stakeholders are involved in the process. Under the oversight activities, the committees and uh, particularly some of the committees I sit in, like the Committee on Communication, Trade and Investment, had a tour of all border posts uh, to see to ourselves how the implementation of the Customs Management Act is being implemented by partner states. The key laws enacted by the Assembly have the potential of accelerating mutual benefits among the people of East Africa. Going by the several pieces of legislation so far passed by the nascent assembly, Iala's success remains unmatched by any other regional assembly. One such fundamental law is a Customs Management Act, a key piece of legislation that governs trade within the bloc. The Customs Union, which provides for the establishment of a common external tariff, hopes to nurture trade through creation of a conducive trading environment, instituting checks and balances, and the elimination of non-tariff barriers in the EAC trading bloc, whose gross domestic product wrecks in an average of 75 billion US dollars annually. This has seen trade within the region increase by 49%, up from 37.6% in 2008, making the region attractive for investment. Boosted with fast-paced business reforms that have seen Rwanda and Kenya rank highly as some of the lucrative destinations for doing business in the continent and the globe. The private sector really has uh, moved to different uh, capitals. You can see cross-border investments by different companies. Uh, I think the role of partner states is just to provide the business environment, conducive business environment and then the private sector then can uh, flourish. But... The Joint Trade Negotiations Act of 2007 paves way for partner states to negotiate trade matters as a bloc, giving rise to economic growth, typical examples being witnessed in Uganda and the United Republic of Tanzania, both of which have greatly benefited and enhanced trade while opening new frontiers. The Republic of Burundi on its part is keen to keep its development on track. Generally, there are benefits for all, and all stand in the benefits way in the interdependent relationship that defines East Africa. EALA strives to ensure enhanced intra-East African trade among its people, something that will greatly boost the customs union and the common market. 134 million people, that is a huge market. And what we don't seem to understand is that um, if we utilized this market and increased the level of intra-East Africa trade, a lot of the goods that we, consumer goods that we import from, from outside of East Africa would actually be manufactured within East Africa. The Common Market, launched in July 2010 to allow for free movement of labor, capital, goods and services, is a crucial protocol in the lead-up to the realization of a monetary union which aspires for a single East African currency and ultimately a political federation. A key and definitive step in the integration process of the EAC that today boasts of the world's most admired historical sites, vast mineral resources and a business hub. IALA's deepening role in the EAC integration process is accentuated given its vision of a prosperous region that seeks an assertive role in global affairs, particularly trade. One thing I must say that as a community we have not done very well is uh, sensitizing the general public more on matters pertaining to the East African, uh, East African community. Of course we can't do it uh, alone, it has to be something that has been done collectively within the community and also the partner states. We have ministries responsible for EAC affairs 
who should not only coordinate but also sensitize their citizens on what is happening in the, in, the, in, the, in the community. So I think that is a big challenge that we have, but those challenges come with, it's more about funding, funding in terms of uh, committee activities. Iela plays a key role in the representative aspect, often by interrogating policies of the community to ensure efficiency and effectiveness, fairness and equity. In its representative role, IALA continues to be the voice of the people in the integration dispensation, informing them about the commitments and policies of their government to the EAC. As a regional legislature striving to see stability in East Africa despite a myriad of challenges affecting the region, IALA's role as a key organ of the community has become the embodiment of East Africa's unity prospering the vision. One people, one destiny. The need for the decade of great progress as we successfully navigated our way from cooperation to integration. These East African leaders who converge here in Arusha in the Legislative Assembly actually act as East Africans, as opposed to acting as Ugandans or Kenyans or Tanzanians. We've been trying to tell the people that, look, things have changed. Now the Kenyans, the Ugandans, we are all one thing. Forget about the past. In one way we've succeeded, but then there are experiences that keep reoccurring. They keep occurring, which reflect on the lives of Tanzanians. You must agree with me that we have different economies. And we also have political backgrounds, very different. We were socialists. And you know, as a people, you grow up in different environments. We started with the customs union, that was our baby. And uh, we are very passionate about it, those who are here in the first parliament, because we moved customs union, the knowledge, we educated the people, and we passed the Custom Management Act. But in a changing world where competition is growing by the day and new opportunities opening up, Iala's vision to see an industrialized community free from hunger, conflict and underdevelopment is a key mantle, which is why a crucial resolution passed committing partner states to negotiate jointly the economic partnership agreements is so important to Iala. Like any other assembly representing its people, Iala's 10 years of existence have not only changed the mindset of the community, at times skeptical of each other, but it has been an enriching experience for the assembly, which holds five sittings a year, principally on a rotational basis within the partner states. We've also tried uh, to have a, a series, what we call Nyanyuki series, because it started in Nyanyuki, where we have members of parliament from all the partner states. We have around 20 members from each partner state and all members of Iala. And uh, we sit down and discuss uh, matters of uh, East African nature, where we are, where we, do, where we should go in, uh, in, in future, what we should change. So we have really, as, we try, as much as possible, try to get to East Africans uh, or the National Assemblies or partner states through these processes. In addition, during the various meetings and conferences, including the popular Interparliamentary Relations Seminars, commonly referred to as Nanyuki series, Iala discusses and debates on critical matters on a wide range of issues, revolving on regional integration, as well as in getting buy-in from the national assemblies and other key stakeholders. Careful to avoid drawbacks such as the ones facing powerful blocs like the European Union, which the EAC model borrows heavily from, Iala is seeking to consolidate the gains made in the last 10 years and reach out more to the people of East Africa, whom Iala feels should have more representation in the assembly. Although the framers of the treaty quite understandably put an emphasis on economic integration, there has always been and will always be a political federation trend between and among the people of East Africa. Because the East African community, in my understanding, was born out of a desire, out of a need to face certain strategic challenges. And those challenges go beyond a mere economic integration. According to the House Speaker, the Right Honorable Abdirahim Abdi, Iala is not averse to and may in future be seeking a larger mandate 
by providing for the amendment of the EAC Treaty to allow for its members to be elected directly by the people, for so long as effective structures in administering universal suffrage are instituted. This IALA feels will make it more omnipresent in the community at a time calls continue to mount to have an assembly that is able and capable of coming into contact with more citizens. And because charity begins at home, IALA has now enacted the IALA Elections Bill 2011 that seeks to govern elections of its members by providing a framework for the laws, regulations and procedures of electing representatives to the regional August House and for addressing any matters incidental thereto. As Assembly we have uh, put recommendations whereby we said that members of parliament should be elected by the people. Of course, uh, at the same time it's easier said than done. Currently under the treaty, it's, uh, you know, each member state uh, should have nine members uh, representing it. Once we start talking about uh, you know, election through adult suffrage, we have to change other issues. We have to also go to you know, look at uh, how many members from each partner state. You know. We have to look at, uh, you know, of course, when you start talking of uh, proportional representation, also people start talking of who will pay more, who will pay, you know, who will pay less. But also, I have to say that when you give people, you know, when you take somebody through that uh, adult suffrage and you say you elect those people, you also have to give him more authority to go with it. The treaty needs to be overhauled to make the position of Iyala more meaningful, more uh, give it a better legislative function and also be able to have the laws it makes domesticated in the national parliaments. Even if you have universal suffrage, you elect these members of parliament, then you have really to fund for your members of parliament so that they can have their presence felt. An expanded assembly representing 130 million East Africans is no easy feat. With a lean budget contributed to by partner states and development partners, seeking alternative sources of funding remains fundamental given the expanding nature and scope of the community as other countries plot their entry into the EAC. This the assembly is committed to realizing. IALA's vision to have a people-centered integration process can be best described by the assembly's pronouncements that for democracy to prevail in the region, an East African constitution and a regional electoral law are crucial. Whenever we come to the partner state, we'd really, you know, we'd really wish that uh, East Africans would be more open and come and say what they feel that we should do. Not that we always tell you what we have done, but uh, what we have, uh, what we should do, haven't done, or should do better so that we can improve. Because this thing is for us all, it's for all East Africans, it's not for a group of people. Continentally, IALA is making a mark with a number of other regional parliaments today borrowing a leave from the Assembly. IALA enjoys warm and cordial relations with the Southern African Development Community, SADC Parliamentary Forum, and the ECOWAS Parliament and the Pan-African Parliament. IALA's tentacles have spread globally and the Assembly also has cordial relations with the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association, the European Parliament, the Inter-Parliamentary Union, IPU, and the Association of European Parliamentarians with Africa, a WEPA, among others. As IALA caps 10 years of dedicated service, a new phase begins, but with the People's Assembly remaining on track, focused and committed. IALA plans to continue shifting gears, thus leveraging each integrative pillar to the next level until the shared vision and the ultimate prize of an East African political federation is achieved. IALA, a truly Bungela Afrika Mashariki.